DNS is the shooter. How did you get into cutting hair, man? Oh, uh, well, I got to cutting hair at a young age when, you know what I'm saying, when my dad didn't have us, but T. John had us, and she gave us chili bowls, and, you know, we wanted to blend that chili bowl in. So that's how we really started, by trying to blend the, trying to blend the bowl look in our own heads, and that's probably where I started from there. Then I said I was about 15, cutting the kids around the area that I stayed in. Okay. Yeah, then, so it started just So you were 15 when you got your first pair of clippers? Yeah, yeah. First pair of clippers at 15. Yep, not no real good clippers. It was some Dollar General clippers, but you know, that was clippers. Hey, you just it just shows like you gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was just a hobby then. That wasn't that was the main You just goal. got in the neighborhood that know how to cut hair. Yeah. And you did it for the low. Yeah, did it for the low. I was just doing it at first. I really was just doing it. I wasn't getting no money. And then it was like when they wanted the haircut, and I'm like, I don't want to do it right now. They was like, here, I'll give you $5. Like, cool. I'll do it now. Yeah. Take that $5, go give me some, go give me some candy or something. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, bro, I got a lot of phone calls of people who know you, man. Like, they said they, that you was cutting hair across the street from a college or something like that. Oh, no. I was at DMC. I was at, I was, I was cutting across from North Garland. Yeah, right there behind the car wash. You okay, know. okay. So yeah, it was a barbershop called DMC. That's where I was at. That's where that's where I was that's where I was known because I was, I was like grew up in Garland, so yeah. I was cutting in a shop in Garland, so I seen a, I knew a lot of people. So when did you get to the point where you say, you know what, I'ma take this real serious. I'm really actually cold, you know what I'm saying? Did you see the barbershop movie or something and got inspired or No, more like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was in one of my old relationships. She was just like, I'm tired of you cutting hair around here. You know what I'm saying? You might as well go to school. And I'm like, fuck it, I go to school. And so I went to school and, you know what I'm saying? It just started from there. Yeah. Well, now the real push was when I was working at the bank and I had to be at work on Saturday and I had to be in school on Saturday. So they was like, either it's work or school. And I'm like, well, I'm working at a bank. Hell, I'm making three damn checks. But the barbing shit is forever. So I was like, what do I need to do? I mean, like, were you like in trouble or something in school or something? Or were you in trouble, uh, like going to jail or something? You like, know, I was a, I, well, I can't say I was bad. I just say I could, I could say I was misunderstood, but you know. <laughs> You know, when nobody got, when nobody see my way or see my vision. Like you, know, so I ain't gonna lie, bro. You're a pretty outgoing person. Were you the person that made everybody laugh in class and? Unintentionally, you know. Unintentionally, it was just my behavior. You know, I didn't. You don't know. You, you don't know how you are until somebody else actually tell you how you is, and then yeah. Because you know, I don't know that I'm goofy until you say, "Hey, you goofy." I'm like, oh, that, that was goofy. Okay, I can't repeat it because it ain't gonna be goofy again. So. <laughs>